Well, we're vlogging once again. It is uh, 15 hours and 44 minutes into the day, into the 17th day of February 2021. That's a Wednesday. Ooh, and I'm well into my steps, <laughs> so I'm happy for that. I'm sort of excited that I'm into my steps already. So I've got a large chunk of what I need to get done. In terms of my uh, keeping my uh, my average steps up, uh, I'm not switching places just yet in terms of coming from uh, the sleep realm. Uh, but uh, I was up earlier for about an hour to two hours. I did an hour's worth of meditation. I did uh, some of the gaming. I'm coming near the end of Lords Mobile. Uh, I I've leveled up to a point where. Uh, I think there's maybe four months left until I reach the top position. Uh, so I am in the top tier already, but to get to the top position, I think I need another four months or so. Uh, and at that point, when I reach the top, I'll maybe stay there for about a month uh, and then uh, leave the game and begin something new. I do have something I'm working on already as a new, the next game, the next level up. Uh... And then uh, any of the any of the gaming the the, the gaming that we consider uh, uh, like a video gaming is going to be on, on a leisurely basis because the other the games will will morph into something new and uh, once again I'll begin all the way at the bottom and then work my way up to the top again. And the goal is to spend as le uh, spend very little money or no money at all. That remain to be a uh, free to play player, uh, and yet still achieve the levels that you would have achieved if you had paid. The difference is is that you the free to play player requires a lot more patience uh, than if you were paying to play. And it's not about better, being better than everybody else. It's simply about, it's about the journey. And that's kind of the way things work here, is that things are about the journey. They're not necessarily about the destination, although the destination would be nice. But the thing at the same time is you enjoy the journey along the way. Sometimes things are eventful, sometimes they're not eventful, so... Well, the day is split into multiple parts, and, well, this is one of the parts. It is still February 17th, the 17th of February, 17th day of February, um, 2021. It is a Wednesday, and we're just uh, 22 hours and 9 minutes into the day. That means there's only just, there's under 2 hours left. In terms of the actual day, in terms of the orbital day, the orbital position. Because uh, that's what a day is. A day is an orbital position. It is a uh, perspective on orbital pers uh, uh, the, uh, position. Uh, uh. And... It's in consideration of where we are in the rotation uh, with the orientation uh, being towards the sun. You know, in other words, uh, the sun at, at the height, at the zenith, is noon. The exact opposite is the zero hour. They have, of course, 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. These are all uh, points on the clock. Uh, then you also have... Uh, Typically, you'd have it if uh, if you're using more than a more than a uh, just a twelve just a twelve hour clock. A twenty four hour clock. Um, noon is noon, which is twelve. Uh, isn't <laughs> midnight, so it, that it, that's, there's your 24 hours. I kind of tripped over that for a bit. Uh, 
I'm just moving from one state to another. I've got my uh, milk tea here. I'm going to go through some of my work that I have to do, some of the reading, some of the um, different notes I have to sort of finish, finish up uh, while I'm watching, while, while I'm doing the YouTube stroll. Uh, that's kind of what, the way I do things, is that uh, the used YouTube stroll always keeps me company while I do a variety of different things here. This is now a fully functional research desk, so yay for that. Well, there's something said for pushing beyond a 12-hour day. It is uh, 22 hours and 23 minutes into the 18th day of February. That is a Thursday. I just got back from my parents' house. Uh, I was up earlier doing odds and ends, but I didn't have a chance to vlog. So this is it here and now. I was able to clear off a large chunk of backlog on my phone, so I'm clearing off a large chunk uh, of uh, sort of what was causing the backup on my editing desk. That's been cleared off. Uh, it's sort of like a, a necessary cleaning. Uh, once you've done the once you've done the editing and you've uh, finished with the files. Uh, I upload them to uh, the Google Cloud. I have two terabytes on there. And then I delete them from the phone. Uh, so that has to be done every now and again. Otherwise, it's a simple transfer back and forth between two different phones. And uh, everything seems to be working out okay. It just really depends on uh, the amount of uh, work that has to be done during the day. Uh, the dreams are getting kind of interesting. The, 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 the av the overall themes are still there. The overall things themes of trying to achieve uh, very oh, different goals are there. But then there's also some that are more just mundane. That you're there, you have this existence, and nothing of no nothing of really sort of interest uh, that that should be noted. Uh, comes out of it. It's just, it's just that you have this experience, you have this, it's, it's like going to a restaurant or going to visit somebody uh, or you go, like you go hiking or whatever. You have the experience but there is nothing more to it than uh, what it is, is that you went hiking, you went to a restaurant, you uh, went to a play or, or something along the lines and you had this experience. Now, will this be experience become significant later on? Don't know. It might. But also, at the same time, it might not. I mean, there were uh, vlog, uh, dreams that I've had when I was much younger. And where I made other... I, I, I lived in other realms. I lived in other dimensions. Uh, I had a house in another dimension. I had friends there. I went to school in another place. And at some point in time, it just, at some point in time, the portal closed and I wasn't able to get there anymore. And that was the end of that. And in, in other words, not all, not all the experiences within the dreams are of striking importance where you have to sit down and take notes and uh, really sort of uh, just to do the interpretation. But, but I find more often than not the interpretations from what I've read of the interpretation interpretations are of any significance because there's always something there to contradict the interpretation. So the interpretation is just that. It's somebody's interpretation of what you're dreaming. That n does not necessarily mean that that is true. An interpretation is the point of view from somebody else. It's not your point of view. Now, it's up to you whether you want to accept that interpretation or not. I need some water to drink. I'm parched. <sighs> but I think at the same time, 
there's no necessity for you to take or, 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 or uh, uh, you know, or, uh, necessity and out of obedience or whatever, whatever you want to take. There's no necessity to take an interpretation seriously. You take it as, as it is. And sometimes, and this is the way it is. Sometimes you pick up information and experiences. This is, you get information through experience. Uh, and there's nothing you can do with it. So you put it on your shelf, you put it into your library of experiences. And it might, may be of use later on, you may go back to it. Like I've gone back to some of my dreams now in the other portals that, I, that I've been to. And some of them, ironically enough, well, as I was doing mathematical equations, I was doing calculus, uh, actually lined up and, and, and the dream was just the way it was. And several times it was in the form of a puzzle. It was also in the form of form of an equation. It, it, it actually formed the equation. And I could see the equation of the dream after the dream had finished. And this is, this was, this was true for, uh, Linus Pauling, uh, Pauli, uh, uh, Pauli, uh, of the Pauli exclusion principle in chemistry. And he's a Nobel Prize winner. Uh, you may want to sort of check him out and sort of, and this is sort of thing, things along the line with, with, with that Planck was talking about, is that our understanding of things in terms of how the universe work is, it works is, is quite limited. It's quite, it, we don't, we don't know or understand the things we think we know and understand. In other words, the assumptions about our knowledge of the things around us is really minute, even though we may think it's large, we may think we are an expert or a guru or whatever you want to call yourself, but the reality is, is we're simply on the path. I may be further along the path than other people are, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, that I am better. And this is what I said before, the, the, the distances in the fa space of thought, and, and this, is, this is what I've experienced in my dreams, is that there is no distance. Uh, even though there appears to be a diff distance. Distances are not specifically linear. Just because someone, I'm, I, let's say I'm, I'm here in my room now, someone's at my front door. Uh, in the so-called, the, the, the outer dimensions of time and space, going outside of what we'll call our typical universe, uh, I can speak to the guy normally as he's sitting next to me and understand what he's thinking. And, you know, in other words, there's an exchange that doesn't occur within the physical sense of the standard conversation. Even though to other people it appears to be there, that there appears to be a standard conversation. And this is where, what, what comes into mind as I'm having these dreams, uh, as uh, I realize I have these experiences. And so the experience itself it does not need interpretation, but rather it sort of you, you mull over the experience, and as it relates to what you're studying, what you're researching, or maybe nothing at all. People have, people write these down. These have these dream journals. And if you're not studying anything, that then it's not going to not going to have any significance. And this is where the interpretation can come in and be very very dangerous because it can lead you to things that that that. that you shouldn't be looking at or shouldn't deal with at this particular point in time. In other words, there is knowledge and information that you shouldn't look at if you're not ready to look at it. In other words, uh, it could destroy you. There is information out there that could be destructive. There's the bus. Well, a delivery is due today, but uh, not yet. It is uh, 15 hours and 13 minutes into the 19th day of uh, February 2021. It is a Friday, the end of the week. Well, not necessarily for me because uh, my schedule goes 24-7. So, the only real downtime that I have is on Wednesdays when the body peters out and there's no more energy and 
we go into a, we go into a crash, uh, and then take another day Thursday to get out of it. So Friday, I'm back into some form of uh, functioning condition where uh, everything that had been sort of fall, everything that has fallen off, uh, has to be picked up and uh, dealt with, and that's certainly the case here. Uh, there's a fair amount of cleaning to do. There's laundry to do because that's fallen off and fallen behind. Uh, right now, I'm back at my uh, media room research desk where I currently am, uh, at least for the winter anyways. Ooh. Once things get warmer, I'll be in, in the uh, at the front room at the uh, front uh, research desk uh, where the music studio is now. <coughs> I said, I'm getting near the end of gaming. I'm I'm near the end of Lord's Mobile. Uh, I think I've got maybe four or five months left, and that will be it. Then we move on to another game. And the thing is, every time we finish a game, we move up a game level. And it is a difficult thing to do, but it's uh, but it is doable. It, 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 it the hard part is realizing you're going to start at the bottom all over again. Uh, and it's the way I did before. It, it's it, it's it's it, it, the beginning is very slow. There are parts in between that are very slow. Right now, I, I went through an exciting period uh, uh, on Lords Mobile where I did a lot of uh, uh, moving up and, uh, uh, and and moving ahead. And uh, now back into the mundane again. Now it's, it's sort of uh, you know it, it's about pacing yourself. And that's kind of where we are now. I've got my uh, 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 YouTube stroll uh, queued up. Uh, I know what I'm going to be watching next. And the now on to the rest of the day. One of the things i got to remember, and it's uh, now just about three minutes before uh, uh, the February 20th, uh, uh, so it's uh, still February 19th, that's uh, 23 hours and 57 minutes into the day. Uh, the year is uh, 2021. And I was talking about my successes and failures, but I have to remember to turn the camera on. I know the camera's on when I'm looking to the left, uh, and I see the timer going, that's when I know the camera's on. But sometimes when it's, when it's this sort of called rotating or shifting time, as I'm in right now, uh, uh, this is what I was sort of saying. This is what I was saying. Is that what's ended the opening segment and the ending segment is there is no consistent time or day when I'm starting or ending. It's just continuous. So there isn't an opening to the vlog because there isn't an opening to the day, and there isn't an ending to the day. It continues on uh, from one point to the next point. When I go to sleep. The work is still there, the, the, the thoughts are still there, the experiences are still there, the exploration is still there, and then even after when I wake up from whatever dream I've had, there is a period of about a half hour, 45 minutes where I'm still somewhat within the dream, but sort of mulling it over my mind in terms of what had happened, what was the situation, and how maybe if there was a better way to resolve it, if I didn't ex resolve it. Uh, the way I thought it should have been resolved. And this, this, this is, this is, you know, success and failure. This is uh, 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 walking along a path, and, and in many cases the path is not going to... Well, there you go, there's midnight. So, we have midnight now, it's, it's now the 20th. We've crossed the date line, although I didn't intend to do that. This is what I thought I th would finish this earlier, but uh, 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 circumstances happen that uh, we end up being a little early, and well, this is the end result. So the the package I was expecting to come in today didn't come in. There was a mix up at the Canada Post, and well, uh, this whole thing with the chronic gas has really messed everything up. Uh, some people are working, some people aren't working. Uh, some people are using this to take time off and, you know, collect sick pay. <laughs> uh, so, with the number of people who are left to sort of 
pick up the slack, uh, mistakes occur, and uh, there's not much you can do about it. Just wait, and uh, if things do go horribly wrong, is uh, the, the the shipping company that I order everything through, and there's a number of them, uh, they'll refund my money. So there's not necessarily a loss, it's sort of a loss of time, it's a little bit of disappointment, but, you know, <laughs> sometimes you can live with that. But anyways, uh, I am working on, on some new stuff that, uh, if the first test has gone up already on Instagram's uh, IGTV, uh, I'm doing some more work on that on IGTV and the uh, uh, Instagram feed TV that will bring up a large chunk of the gnosis that we're talking about. And once again, when we talk about gnosis, that uh, gnosis is a very broad term that are used by by specific groups to mean one thing. But they're not, it, gnosis itself does not specifically mean one thing, it's just one aspect of it. So, uh, when someone calls himself a Gnostic, a, a practitioner of Gnosis, uh, you can ask them what they're, what they're, what they're, well, how to, how they further define that. Because there's Gnosis on the left hand path, there's Gnosis on the left, on the right hand path. Gnosis on the right hand path includes Eastern Christianity. And so what happens is that you do have to be more specific about what you're talking about uh, when you're talking about Gnosis and Gnostics. Because it's not all the same thing. There is more depth to it. And this is what some of the things that we'll be going into, some of the stuff, uh, uh, the, the, the sort of the branching that's causing the backlog on the editing desk uh, is going to bring this out further and it's going to evolve into uh, the show Meditations. I figured out how to start it, how to move, sort of move into it a little bit more and bring it out, bring out the show Meditations in a much better manner. And it is going to be a spiritual show. It's going to be about spirituality. And I notice there's a large chunk of elders out there, gurus, and there's not just myself. There's a whole group of people, and so there's a, a, it's a sort of okay, pick and choose. What do you want? Do you want one, two, three, four, five, six? It's all out there, and some of them are charging, some of them aren't charging, some of them are just sort of giving the information information away for free. I'm not charging anything, so uh, you know, pick and choose. Anyways, uh, I'm going to sort of uh, set my TV up and sort of figure out what I'm going to watch. And I do have something in the oven for uh, a dinner or a lunch or whatever you want to call it. And we'll move forward from there.